And we are done. So everything is basically in now, the computer, the table, I got my speakers up mounted to the wall, got the cables hidden, got the lights installed, everything's pretty much up. I do have one final uh, piece de resistance left, which is installing these uh, like sound plates to try to lower the echo. I don't know if you can hear this on the mic right now, but the echo is quite loud here. So I need to install these in some tactical places. I'm guessing probably the roof, sorry, the ceiling, not the roof, uh, to try to get the echo down a bit. I got a few trims left specifically in the corner and the sides. But other than that, we are 99% done. Let me show you some of my favorite pieces with this setup. So behind here, you'll see this nice tidy cable box with a bunch of wires coming out of it. And what is interesting about this is that this is a cable box that I've cut a hole in the bottom of that attaches to the inner boxes from which the cables from the speakers and stuff in the wall come from. So this is sort of a, sort of a, I guess, yeah, a tidy cable box that will hide all the mess and keep it all nice and clean. I showed you this uh, during the montage, but behind, oh wow, I got some dust here, I got a vacuum, but behind the speakers here, uh, the cables are going tidy into the wall. And I got this white cover plate that sort of hides the hole in the wall a bit. And I got the same setup for the other speaker on the window here. So some people on Twitter commented about how my eyes are gonna be hella burnt because of the sun, but the sun really goes down all the way over there and then it goes up like way behind here. So the sun, the, the window is never really directly exposed to the sun, so it's not a big of an issue. If it turns out to become an issue, I'll put blinds up, easy as that. On the top here, I have two Elgato uh, key air lights or air lights, which are like Wi-Fi controlled uh, key lights that I can use for video recording to get that nice uh, color and uh, I guess color tone, right, to make the footage footage look good. And then in the middle here, I got the Algaro teleprompter and then inside here is like an old Sony AX1000 something something DSLR camera that works great as a streaming and webcam, only full HD. I got the Samsung G9 49 inch ultra ultra wide monitor. This is like proper five years old, but it's 120 hertz, so it's perfect. I'm super happy with it. And then this is mounted on this heavy duty uh, street, uh, screen mount. There's very few like arm mounts that actually fit, that can hold this heavy of a monitor. So this is one of those few that can. And then on the bottom here, I got uh, a Kali Digit docking, Turbo 3 docking that I use for bringing all of sort of my ports and stuff up from the main computer, but I can also dock a laptop and have it hooked up to everything. I got the Solid State Logic, I think it's called SSL Plus 2 something. The audio card here, external audio deck, and then I got the stream deck, the, the first generation something, something that I use to control some music and do some other stuff. Haven't set this up too much yet, but yeah. And then also just like a charging station here. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. Obviously I got my, my Shure SM7B mic here with, the, I think this is like a audio gainer, like a, it's called SEDM1 Dynamite, one of the, you basically need this in order to hear something from these mics because they are really low driven. Like you can't hear much unless you have a booster like this. So this works out great. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Got a fridge currently filled up with really, really, really unhealthy stuff, which probably needs to go at some point because I don't want to die by the age of like 45. But for now, it's fine. And yeah, the only thing I need to really do here is I need to fix the echo, as I said. And then also I would like to get uh, an active subwoofer for the speakers. These are the Yamaha HS7s, which are great studio monitors. Uh, however, uh, in this big room, they sort of lack the last lower uh, punch. So I might want to get an active subwoofer in the end at some point. But other than that, I am super happy with this setup and I can't wait to start producing more content from this uh, workstation here, this, this setup. So this is what the new streaming and video recording setup looks like. 
I can see that my face is pretty well lit, so that looks great. The background is pretty dark, but I'm, was, I'm actually waiting for a bunch of the core stuff that's gonna light that up and it's gonna look really good on camera. And with that, I'll just say thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I am again sort of sorry that we derailed a bit from the typical technical content that I am supposed to do and that I typically do. We'll get right back onto that as soon as this series is now done and dusted. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe I inspired somebody to do some sort of home renovation at their place. You know, I again, I work 99.9% .9 from home and I want to give myself the space and I guess comforts that is needed to feel that I'm at work and not just doing something at home. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.